grown by hundreds of students in the past few years, and administrators are preparing for even more growth in the future. And to do that, they're hoping for some help from voters this fall, asking them to approve a referendum for more space. Steve Plank, Middleton's high school principal, and Jill Gertner, principal of Clark Street Community School, are here with us this morning to talk about that referendum. Thanks so much for joining us bright and early. Absolutely. Let's start. There is a lot in this referendum, but let's start specifically with the high school. Why are we trying to expand it there? Well, Jill and I were just talking before we came in and, and realized that the freshmen that started with us just yesterday, mm -hmm. by the time they graduate, our high school capacity will be over 500 students over what it is today and what we can actually handle within the school district. So the, the kids keep coming, that's a great thing, but it means that we just really need to have more space. We're already pretty crowded at Middleton High School and it's just gonna get more intense as the years go on. So we're talking about $138.9 million uh, worth of capital investments, another uh, 4.8 million, you know, these are big numbers. Can you guys kind of, maybe Jill, you can help with this, kind of put into perspective what that's going toward and what it would mean for your kids? Yeah, I think one of the really exciting things at the high school is we've been talking for several years and the district has been investing in some really innovative programming and piloting and trying out on small scale some really innovative programming to help our students be prepared for the future lives that they're going to lead. Um, the referendum has now, and the need to build, has really gotten us to be able to talk about Let's talk about how facilities can support really innovative programming. Um, so how can we make sure that all of our students have an opportunity to have uh, the experience of connecting deeply with their community and having authentic learning experiences in their community? What does that look like, though? Because, you know, I think a lot of people would say, well, you don't need space. You know, what, what does a building have to do with it? We have ideas. We can do this without that. So what would you say to those parents and those voters out there? It's, it's been fascinating to really look at spaces over the last year and work with our architects to talk about that because if you've been in Middleton High School you know it is a maze of hallways <laughs> and small spaces. Uh, the innovative working experiences, the spaces that kids are going to be going into in the future don't look like our high schools do anymore. They look like spaces where kids can collaborate. They look like spaces where they can get uh, using some of the uh, equipment that is available to them in industry where they can move more freely to work in different groups and to collaborate with each other and problem solve. Um, a lot of flexible spaces. And so having the ability to change what that space looks like in the process of building is really going to accelerate some of our innovative programming. Now there is a lot of stuff in this referendum. Maybe the biggest option is a new elementary school. Talk a little bit about that briefly. Yeah, there's a seventh elementary option for us that's on the west side of the school district for 525 students. And then in addition to that, there's a cafeteria ad at Park Elementary School in Cross Plains. There's some work in a kitchen at Sauk Trail Elementary School, which is uh, right in the heart of Middleton. And then the largest by dollar amount is the high school work. And this would make it the largest in the state, potentially, it sounds like. Yeah. For this round, I, I believe. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, thank you guys both for taking some time. I know it's a busy time of year, and with the flooding, I'm sure it's even a more busy time of year, so we appreciate What's it. What's going on? Thanks so yeah. much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right. Your time right now is 619, and there's some artwork coming to the west side of Middleton.